that flutter in your stomach when they walk by. It's like your whole world pauses for a moment and all you can focus on is them. You might catch yourself smiling without even realizing it or feeling a sudden rush of warmth. The way your heart skips a beat when their name pops up on your phone, it's that instant jolt of excitement, the anticipation of what they might say and the joy of knowing they thought of you. We've all been there. Crushes are a part of life, bringing a rush of excitement and a touch of nervous energy. They make the mundane moments feel magical and add a spark to our daily routines. It's perfectly normal to feel a bit tongue-tied or shy around someone you like. Your palms might get sweaty, your heart races, and you might even stumble over your words. It's all part of the experience. Remember those awkward middle school dances, the nervous glances, the hesitant steps, and the overwhelming feeling of being out of your comfort zone? Yeah, we try to forget those too. But they were also moments of growth, teaching us about courage and vulnerability. The good news is, attracting your crush doesn't have to be a scene from a cheesy rom-com. It doesn't require grand declarations or over-the-top gestures. No grand gestures or elaborate schemes needed. Sometimes, the smallest actions speak the loudest. A genuine smile, a thoughtful compliment, or a simple act of kindness can make a big impact. Think subtle signals, genuine connections, and a dash of confidence. It's about being present, showing interest, and being yourself. The key is to let your crush see the best version of you without feeling like you're trying too hard. Authenticity is attractive, and confidence is magnetic. After all, you're amazing just the way you are. Embrace your unique qualities and let them shine. So, how do you subtly attract your crush and maybe even turn that crush into something more? Let's dive in. We'll explore practical tips and heartfelt advice to help you navigate the exciting journey of turning a crush into a meaningful connection. Confidence is incredibly attractive. When you feel good about yourself, it shows. It's like an inner light that draws people in. Think about what makes you feel confident and embrace it. Maybe it's rocking a killer outfit, acing a presentation, or simply being comfortable in your own skin. Take some time for self-care and indulge in activities that boost your self-esteem. Hit the gym, try a new hobby, spend time with loved ones, or rock out to your favorite playlist. When you feel good, you radiate positive energy, and that's a magnet for your crush. Remember, confidence isn't about being perfect. It's about embracing your authentic self and letting your personality shine through. So, hold your head high, flash that genuine smile, and let your inner confidence light up the room. Your crush won't be able to resist. They say body language speaks volumes, and it's true. Our nonverbal cues can often communicate more than our words ever could. Whether it's a simple gesture, a fleeting glance, or a subtle shift in posture, these signals can convey a wealth of information about our feelings and intentions. You can send subtle signals to your crush without saying a word. It's all about being aware of your body language and using it to your advantage. The way you position yourself, the expressions you make, and even the way you move can all send powerful messages. Start by making eye contact. Eye contact is one of the most powerful forms of nonverbal communication. It can create a sense of connection and intimacy, making the other person feel seen and valued. It shows you're interested and engaged. When you look someone in the eyes, it signals that you're paying attention and that you care about what they're saying. This can be incredibly flattering and can help to build a deeper connection. Don't stare them down though. Too much eye contact can be intimidating and can make the other person feel uncomfortable. It's important to strike a balance and to be mindful of how your gaze is being received. 
A few seconds of eye contact, coupled with a warm smile, is all you need. A genuine smile can light up your face and make you appear more approachable and friendly. It can also help to put the other person at ease and to create a positive atmosphere. When you're chatting, angle your body towards them to show you're listening. This can make the other person feel more connected to you and can signal that you're fully engaged in the conversation. Mirroring their gestures can also create a subconscious connection. When you subtly mimic the other person's movements, it can create a sense of harmony and understanding. This can make the other person feel more comfortable and can help to build rapport. For example, if they lean in while talking, you can subtly lean in too. This can signal that you're interested in what they're saying and that you're eager to hear more. It can also create a sense of intimacy and closeness. Just remember to keep it natural and not too over the top. It's important to be genuine and to avoid coming across as insincere or forced. The key is to be aware of your body language and to use it in a way that feels authentic to you. And don't forget the power of a light touch. Physical touch can be incredibly powerful and can convey a sense of warmth and affection. A gentle touch on the arm or shoulder can create a sense of connection and can make the other person feel more valued and appreciated. If you're comfortable, a playful touch on the arm or shoulder during conversation can send a spark. It can add a sense of playfulness and can help to build a deeper connection. Just be sure to gauge the other person's comfort level and to respect their boundaries. Pay attention to their body language too. It's not just about the signals you're sending, but also about the signals you're receiving. Being attuned to the other person's body language can help you to better understand their feelings and intentions. Are they reciprocating your signals? If they are, it can be a sign that they're interested and engaged. Look for signs of mirroring, such as matching your gestures or posture. This can indicate that they're feeling a sense of connection and rapport. Are they engaged and interested in what you have to say? Pay attention to their facial expressions and body language. Are they nodding, smiling and making eye contact? These can all be signs that they're interested and invested in the conversation. Reading their body language can give you valuable clues. By being mindful of both your own body language and the body language of others, you can create deeper connections and communicate more effectively. So, next time you're in a conversation, remember to pay attention to those subtle signals. Section 4. Strike up a chat. Conversation starters. Starting a conversation can feel nerve-wracking, but it doesn't have to be a test. Look for natural openings. It's all about finding that right moment to say something. You might feel a bit anxious, but remember, everyone feels that way sometimes. The key is to take a deep breath and go for it. If you're in a class together, ask about an assignment. This can be a great way to break the ice because it's something you both have in common. You could say, hey, did you understand the homework? Or, what did you think of the lecture today? These questions are simple but effective. If you see them at a party, comment on the music. Parties are social events and people are usually in a good mood. You could say, I love this song, don't you? Or, who's your favorite artist? Music is a universal language and a great conversation starter. Even a simple, hey, how's it going, can break the ice. Sometimes the simplest greetings can open the door to a longer conversation. A friendly smile and a wave can make a big difference. It shows that you're approachable and interested in talking. Once the conversation gets flowing, be genuinely interested in what they have to say. Active listening is crucial. Nod your head, make eye contact and respond to what they're saying. 
This shows that you value their thoughts and opinions. Ask open-ended questions that encourage them to share more about themselves. Questions like, what do you enjoy doing in your free time? Or, what are you passionate about? Can lead to deeper, more meaningful conversations. People love to talk about themselves. So be a good listener and show that you're genuinely engaged in the conversation. Reflect on what they say and ask follow-up questions. This not only keeps the conversation going, but also shows that you're truly interested. Humor is also a great way to break the ice and keep things lighthearted. A good laugh can make people feel more comfortable and relaxed. Just make sure your humor is appropriate for the situation. Share a funny anecdote or make a witty observation. Stories about funny things that happen to you or amusing observations about the current situation can be great conversation starters. Just keep it appropriate and avoid any offensive jokes. The goal is to make the other person feel good, not uncomfortable. Light-hearted humor can be a great way to bond. Remember, the goal is to make them feel comfortable and create a fun, easy-going vibe. The more relaxed and genuine you are, the more likely the other person will feel the same. So, take it easy, be yourself, and enjoy the conversation. Section 5. Shared Interests Finding Common Ground Common interests are like secret bonds, instantly connecting you with someone. Do you both love vintage movies? Are you both obsessed with the same obscure band? Use these shared interests to your advantage. Mention your favorite movie, band or hobby in conversation. If they share your enthusiasm, great. You've found a natural conversation starter. If not, don't fret. This could be an opportunity to learn something new from them. Show genuine interest in their passions. And you might just discover a new hobby or interest yourself. Shared interests can also lead to fun activities together. Suggest watching that movie you both love or checking out a new restaurant that serves their favorite cuisine. These outings provide the perfect opportunity to get to know each other better in a relaxed and enjoyable setting.